Today we're going to be doing the last method I know of of making a gun barrel and that is the spiral wrap method. Here I have a 5 16 square bar that's 8 millimeter which is 36 inches long or around 76 centimeters. I have a 3 8 or 10 millimeter mandrel. What we're going to do with this mandrel we're just going to curve this back and make it about 5 16 here in the open spot on the curve and we're going to lock this part in our vise with the finger sticking forward we're going to insert our piece under here and wrap it around our mandrel the first step is to taper both ends of these both ends of this bar on the same plane so that way we make our wrap that taper makes a nice 90 degree or close to a 90 degree instead of a, a sharp end to the spiral. Okay, so we're going to take a bar, put about four inches of it in our pritchel hole, bend it around. Take our hammer, insert our stock. mandrel finished. Okay, take our bar. I'm just drawing a shallow tape on it. Make sure to keep the width of the taper. You're 5 16 so you're 8 millimeters whatever your parent stock is. And there we have it. And we'll do the same for the other end of the bar. Okay, we're going to orient our taper so the thick side is straight up and down. I'm going to be starting with just the square portion of our bar. We're getting a little crooked, so we're going to fix that real quick. We want to keep this as square as possible while we're twisting. You see how we're getting wonky, crooked? taking you to the end before this is pretty self-explanatory I feel. Tight this twist a little bit and every time we twist we're gonna come back and open up that twist a little bit so we can slide it right back off our mandrel. So there's our start. We're gonna leave this and do this part last the taper on this end so we always have something to hook into there. Take it, loosen it up a little bit. We're gonna use our hammer on the side of our vise to squeeze these coils together. See, we're coming along. This way you got to keep your coil straight. See, I had one go sideways on me. I'll put the mandrel back in later and straighten it all out.
well. Now we're going to hammer in the direction of the twist. This is going to tighten up the spirals. hammer them down this way to compress them against themselves. Just finished up the wrapping. I forgot to turn on the camera. To gave finished the wrapping, tightening the coils, and I gave it a light fluxing. We're a little loose here towards the middle because that one cock sideways. But I think we'll get it. We'll start by hammering it down this way on the anvil to weld these coils together this way. And after we've done that the whole length, then we'll take it to the swage block and we'll start hammering it and welding it this way. I'm going to tap this right now just enough to keep it straight. Okay, so that, I think this is going to be the last of our forge welding heats down onto the coils. Next, we'll be taking it to the swage block to start getting rid of all these hills and valleys, these seams. So as soon as the welding heat's done, we're gonna brush it, put it right back. Say so brush it, flux it, put it right back. Even though all the flats are welded together, we want to mash all of these hills and valleys on the surface together. a little better we have most of the surface imperfections the hills and valleys gone now time I've been coming out of the uh, the fire been tapping this against the uh, side of my anvil so that we're welding this way and that's to help weld it this way too but I think we're gonna straighten this and call it
Okay, that's pretty straight. Now I won't lie, I had the least amount of confidence in this method because of all the surface area that needed to be welded. But I think my opinion has changed. While it was admittedly a major pain in the butt to form and to weld, I put probably double the amount of welding heat into this as I did everything else. So I believe it is going to be a very strong performer. You cannot see any of the original spirals left in it. At least I don't think you can. Oh, you can tell a little bit right here at the end. But. We got a piece of. We got a piece of coal stuck in there, but you can still see a little bit of the light around the coal. I cleared the piece of coal out. The inside is much smoother than I thought it was going to be. I gotta say, I liked it. I'm very optimistic.